Hey Hunters, welcome to this new Arena Breakout Infinite video. Today, new settings for the new season. I know, you guys have been asking like so many times, please should I make a new settings video, please, please, please. All right, we're here. But before the video starts, guys, I just wanna say, well, thank you. Thank you for showing so much love, uh, so much support, whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, uh, even the Discord. Like the Discord is so freaking active right now. So just thank you guys, I know. Um, you know, I don't say thank you a lot of times, like, you know, I don't get emotional and stuff, but honestly, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love, all the support, uh, you know, so for some people just liking a video or just watching a video is not huge, but to me it is, you know, like waking up every day and seeing that very, very positive comments, like a lot of likes on the videos, that the stream as well, a lot of viewers and stuff. Guys, it's incredible. So thank you very much. So yeah. Uh, new settings video. I hope you guys will enjoy. Let me know if you have any question down below in the comment section. And yeah, just enjoy. All right, Headhunters, we're now back on Arena Breakout. So we will start first with the in-game settings and then we will switch to the NVIDIA panel. Um, sorry for the AMD users. Unfortunately, I don't have an AMD VM graphic card. So, well, I, I won't be able to help you today, but uh, we'll still go through the um, in-game settings and then we'll go through the NVIDIA panel. So, first thing first, uh, game. We're gonna start with the field of view. Um, I, I am using 110, uh, which is the max you can use on this game. Well, you know, you have two schools. The people that will play 90 and the people that will play 110. Uh, I personally play 110. The thing is, with 110, you have more peripheral view and with a 90, you have like kind of more, uh, you have less peripheral view, but it's like more zoomed, let's say, you know? So it's easier to see what is in front of you, but it's harder to see what is on the side of you, right? So I just prefer to play 110. Both are good, uh, both are playable. So, you know, just try it out. There is no perfect uh, answer to the field of view. It's either 90, 110, maybe even like 100, you know, something in between. I wouldn't recommend to go below 90 though. But yeah, everything between 90 and 110 is good, all right? Um, second very, very important settings here is going to be the head shake, right? Uh, you don't want to play with the head shake uh, on high. The reason is uh, every time you're going to run, your character will just, you know, uh, you're going to have a, a shake uh, camera movement, which is something you don't want to have in game because it's going to be hard for you to spot enemies, especially if you're playing outside. And as well, some of you might even get dizzy just like watching your um, monitor with the, the, the like, head shake you know so yeah just put it on low uh, that is the competitive setting um, all right with the quick store and prioritize valuable items just uh, turn it on that's a new feature with that came out with the new season uh, the case placement value threshold just put it on 30k that's pretty good everything above 30k will go instantly in your uh, container so everything that is basically gold uh, will go into your container all right we're not gonna go to the HUD so for else and armor you want to have that on auto display uh, you don't want to have, like, you can have always show or auto display, that's completely fine. You just don't want to have it on always hide. The quick treatment, quick treatment, sorry. Um, you want to have it on auto display anyway. Um, stamina bar, auto display. So it's not always there, but as soon as you're going to sprint, uh, you're going to have that bar appearing at the bottom of your screen. Uh, weapon bar. Well, to be fair, weapon bar is up to you guys. Uh, I'm on auto display, but you can put it on always hide if you want a little bit more of um, immersion in the game. Uh, but yeah, I just I just have it on auto display. Uh, the position bar, well, to be honest, you can put it on always hide. I don't even know why I have it on auto display. It is useless, right? You know when you're crouched and you know when you're standing still and you know when you're prone, right? Makes sense. Um, item quick bars. Now I have it on auto display, but so this settings is basically everything that you're going to put here in the item quick use settings. Well, I never use that. I know a lot of people like to, uh, for example, they buy a steam here. So, and then they will put it here. So every time they, they spawn, they will just press five, which is fine. I personally don't use it, but yeah, that's a pretty nice feature. So I recommend you using it. I just, you know, for myself, I just like hold V and then I have the wheel coming on the screen and I just choose whatever I want to use. But yeah, that's a pretty nice feature. Uh, ADS tips. Okay, so this thing here is only good if you're playing scope, if you're sniping, okay? And the reason is um, with the, because of the zero distance here, 
so you want to calibrate your scope. For example, if you're doing some snapping on the valley, maybe you're going to shoot target that are like 150 meters, 200 meters away from you. So this is good to calibrate your scope. Now, well, as you know, I am the head hunter. I don't do sniping. I just, you know, rush people, basically W King people and uh, kill them that way. But if you're more passive player, if you like to snipe and stuff, well, this is a pretty good feature. So in that case, you should put it on always show. In my case, always hide because I don't need that. Uh, red time remaining on always show, this is very, very important. You don't want to go MIA, okay? You want to extract, so you want to always know how much time you have until the raid is over. Performance info, I personally use it, um, well, to see my FPS, if my PC is doing good, and also for the ping, okay? I can tell if it's lobby just by looking at the ping, all right? This is, this is, this is like a trick. To do it, you need a, a base ping above 40. So if you have like, if you go to your server and you and you play on your server and you have anything below 40 MS uh, as a base ping, it's not gonna work. But for myself, for, for myself, I live in Georgia, the country, you know, so every time I start a game, my ping is gonna be 40 or above, which means every time my ping drops below 40, I know that it's lobby and no one else is in my lobby. So this is why it's always show and also to see uh, my FPS. Uh, the compass, it's always show. This is very important uh, if you're playing with teammates. Um, when they're gonna, well, tell you the azimuth of, you know, oh, there is a guy 200 or there is a guy northeast, you know, or when they're gonna put a ping on the map, you will see exactly where is the ping. Uh, Trayable alert ring, well, you want that on auto display because you want to be alerted when there is a nade next to you, right? That makes sense. Uh, team voice chat. Well, it's up to you if you play with randoms. Uh, it's good to have it on uh, auto display so you know who, you, who is talking. All right, that's it for the game settings. Now, we're going to image. And now you're going to be like, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, Sura. You're playing 16 by 10. Yes, uh, it's been a few days since I, since I switched to 16 by 10. So basically, it's going to stretch my game a little bit to the side, right? Uh, and this way, the characters are going to be wider, which means easier targets. Don't you worry, I will teach you how to do it uh, in the next part of the video. So, uh, the resolution is going to be 1920 by uh, 1200. Uh, screen mode always in full screen, all right? Uh, you don't want to put windowed full screen because you're going to have a little bit more input lag and less FPS, so basically less performances. So, always pr prioritize full screen. And when it comes to overall quality, I put it on custom and well, you know, I'm playing on 1080p right now, but if you're playing in 2K resolution or even 4K, I recommend that you, you use the, uh, sorry, the DLSS, right? Um, but in my case, I play, I play in 1080p, so I don't need uh, any super sampling type, so I don't need DLSS, I don't need FSR, um, yeah, just none, basically. But if you're playing in 2K or even using the DSR, I recommend that you use DLSS. Uh, max FPS 240, that's going to depend if you have a 60 hertz, 144 or 240 hertz monitor. Uh, Vsync is off. Enable main screen, main, main screen, sorry, <laughs> you know, na na English is not my native language, guys. So sometimes it's hard for me to pronounce some words. Apologize about that. Uh, enable main screen frame rate limits. Um, you want that? It doesn't really matter. I just have it on off. doesn't really matter. Well, now, variable rate rendering. Some people have more uh, frame rates um, turning that on. Personally, I don't see any difference. So you might have to try it out, what works the best for you. Basically, you might lose a little bit when it comes to the game quality, the graphics and stuff, but uh, win a little bit when it comes to performances. But to me, it doesn't make any difference. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment, guys. Uh, and then here, it's very simple. Everything is on low for me. Everything is on low for me. And <coughs> sorry guys, uh, the new settings here, scope quality, I have it on performance, which means when I'm gonna, every time I'm gonna use a scope, like a, a zoom scope, like two six to seven X, the quality is gonna be bad, but I'm gonna keep my performance, my FPS high, you know. Uh, view distance, I recommend to have it on low anyway, because the players are still rendered. Um, doesn't matter if you're on low or high, okay? Uh, shadow quality on low, because the shadow are still uh, rendered anyway, so it doesn't matter if you have it on high or low. Uh, resolution on low, if you think that your game is a little bit blurry, you can try medium or high. Same for the post-processing quality, if you think that your game is blurry, uh, you can try it on medium or high. Texture quality on low, effect quality on low, vegetation quality on low, shadow and light on low, everything is on low. 
to gain a maximum of performances. All right, now when it comes to the sound, everything here is up uh, to you, just not the special audio. Okay, so the previous season I was using the special audio and I was th that was working completely fine. Now this season I turned it off and I'm still testing it, but so far so good, okay? So far so good. That doesn't mean that it's better, but with the current uh, sound system, it's a little bit better in my opinion. Don't forget that I'm, that I'm using in-ears, uh, but yeah, you gotta try that out. For me, it works better with off. I know that for some people it works better uh, with a special audio being on. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the sound. Okay, so these are my post-processing. You can try them if you want, but please guys, one thing, okay? Uh, and it's gonna be the same for the sensitivity of my mouse and my keyboard and my mouse and, 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 and you know, these kind of settings that are very personal. You can try them, but that doesn't mean that's gonna be good for you because, okay, I have a different monitor than you and I have, like my monitor is, is, is you know, have different settings than you, different colors, different definition and everything. So don't think that it's, that because it works for me, it's gonna work for you, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, sure, you can try it, no, no, no problem, uh, no worries about that, but just be aware, it might not work for you. Uh, all right, so we're now back uh, to control. So this is my mouse sensitivity. Again, I do not recommend you that you guys try it. Um, I'm losing. I'm I'm using a very small mouse pad, and I'm only aiming with my wrist. So when I play, only my wrist is moving this way. Okay, I never move my arm, which means I have a very very specific play style. And again, you need to find your own sense. But again, if you want to try, well, I can't stop you from trying. Maybe it's going to be good for you, but 99% of the time, it's not going to fit you, all right? Um, so here, uh, the only things that are important are quick throw here. I recommend that you bind that to, and you turn that on. Every time you're going to press G, it's going to throw a nade, okay? You, don't, you, you won't have, you won't need to take it first in your hand and then throw it. That's a good thing if you need to reposition yourself or you need to, to throw a quick nade. Close backpack when hit. On on every time you are in your inventory, if someone shoots you, they will cl it, the game will close the inventory for you, so you don't have to do it. Um, switch weapon after throwing, yes, because you don't want to keep, don't want to be, be be stuck with a nail in your hand, right? So you want to get back to your primary weapon. And well, this is my key binds, so you can put stop at any time if you want to take the same, right? And yeah. All right, Headhunters, that's pretty much it for the in-game settings. We'll now move to the NVIDIA panel. All right, we're now on the NVIDIA panel. So first thing first, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to custom your resolution and how to stretch your game. So for that, you will go to Display and Change Resolution. Once you're here, you're gonna click on Customize here and then Create Custom Resolution. Now, my monitor is a 1080p monitor, so the basic resolution would be 1920 by 1080, all right. I want to change the 1080 by 1200, right? So that's going to be like uh, 1920 by 1200, all right? And again, refresh rate, you put whatever you have, 60, 144, 200, 360, uh, I don't know, depending on your monitor. And then you will just click on test. Then it's going to test it, and then you will click on apply. And that's pretty much it. And then you will have your custom resolution appearing here. So if you wanna play four by three, which is even more stretched, but I don't do it because I'm streaming and I would look very ugly, uh, you will put 1440, and for the 16 by 10, which is my resolution at the moment, you will put 1200. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, I don't think you can really miss that. You know, it's very, very easy. Now, when it comes to the um, NVIDIA global settings, and I would use only the global settings, I'm not an expert in that, okay? Someone did it for me. So guys, I'll just scroll and you can copy and paste them if you wanna try, let me know what you think. Again, I'm not an expert in that, so I won't be able to explain everything. Okay, this does that and this and that, because guys, I'm not an expert. However, I will put a link in the description um, that will um, redirect you to a, vid a YouTube video to optimize all your Windows PC, okay? Uh, that, vid that video actually helped me a, a lot to gain a lot of performances, a lot of frame rates. So yeah, go and check it. Uh, all right, so I'll just scroll down for you guys. And that's pretty much it. You know, 
uh, custom resolution, just the 3D settings. We have been through the in-game settings as well. And I think that's pretty much that's pretty much it, guys. There is no like magic tricks, there's no magic settings or anything. Uh, but yeah, feel free to try my settings. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you very soon and again, 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 again. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment. And again, guys, I appreciate all the love.